How we doing? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Perfect. We're, we're going day two training class. My name is Casey Kunash. Nice to meet everybody here. How we got John. It's a little smaller today because I'm going from a phone because we're going through a little bit of internet readjustment issues. Okay. No worries. Here at the office. So I don't want to lose you. So I, I'm just going to go from here so you guys can hear me well. We're just going to give it a minute. Looks like somebody's connecting to audio. We got. Awesome. Whose team are you guys on? We got John, Ragita. 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 Awesome. Yeah, Ragita. I'm with uh, Javon and Josh. Perfect. How about you, John? I'm with Geo's team. Perfect. Geo, we got. Austin and Geo. Austin, Geo. Eric. What's your name, Eric? Matt. 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 Sorry. We got Matt in the house, live in person. Hello. So if I'm talking to somebody, it's Matt, <laughs> not myself. Although I might talk to myself, who knows? Okay, looks like someone's connecting the audio. I don't know if they're having a little difficulty. That's Peggy. Peggy. Right. Peggy, is she on um, your guys' team? Yeah, she's on Geo's team. It says P, P something. All right, it doesn't tell me the name yet. Mm -hmm. Awesome. We're just in it. Got some, got some syllabus stuff today, guys. Ask questions. You know, I've been with the company almost 13 years. I was able to work with, you know, five different cities. I opened like five offices with this company. I ran uh, offices with this company. I had every position with this company, except for SGA, <laughs> Tommy's position. So I had every position except PR. Um, yeah, pretty much every other position. So I know this co company, which is awesome. So ask me questions and, um, I'm going to go over the basic nuts and bolts. I'm going to draw on the board four things and we're going to talk about it. And then we're going to take a break for about a you know, 10 minute break, maybe 15 minute. Um, and then we'll wrap, wrap up probably about three o'clock. And right before we wrap up, um, the last half hour, we're going to do some phone uh, phone training, referrals and phones today. Uh, first half, we're just going to do like client services. I'm going to draw the top four categories, how to kind of how you can break your week down in, in 40 hours. Some people want to work on limit overtime. And so we're going to break down, you know, basically um, four categories, how many hours you can uh, kind of put towards that. And, you know, what to expect and stop, stop me, ask me questions. That, that'll help because if, if John has a question, you know, Matt might have the same question or Ragada or um, Peggy, who else was going to join us here. How many people do you guys have yesterday in Zoom land? Four. Four. Okay, so it looks like we're missing one Zoomer. I think on Zoom it was just me, Peggy, and John, and then whoever oh. was in the class. Oh, okay. Excellent. Perfect. So. Casey, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Before we get, I don't want to mess up your rhythm here. No. Uh, first of all, uh, having every position and having been around for as long as you have, uh, could you speak or ask or uh, add some advice to us folks starting out about how you were able to maintain that longevity in the business? Yeah, how to maintain. Uh, Matt's question, having every position with the company, how to maintain the longevity. And that's a great question. Um, it's really just keeping it simple and outlasting people because, you know, life adversities come up. You, you, you may, well, may not be out in the field as much with a flat tire anymore, but in 13 years, I got one flat tire out in the field. You know, some people got more, you know, and it, it was relatively my, uh, after 10 years, I got my first flat tire adversity you know out at appointments and you're, you're trying to go to your appointments and just putting a donut on you know that might be like overcoming you know outlasting just not letting small mini school like a flat tire any issue kind of deter you you know what I mean just obviously staying positive overcoming any anything and just outlasting people is the big thing keeping your eye on the prize because running you know something's going to come up 
whether it's your life and your business or anything, obviously you guys know that it's just overcoming that, keeping your eye, eye on your business and going all in. You really can't stick your big toe in the water here. As much as you want to test the water out and put the big toe in and you got to go all in. If you give it 110%, you know, you're going to get a, you're going to get 500% back. But if you give it 90%, it might be that 10% that was that last presentation or that last eight to 9 PM where, you know, everyone has things, or you might be tired at eight o'clock at night where that last few phone calls where that's where you make your money, where you set your um, schedule up, you know, that's, that's where you write your paycheck here is on those phone nights. So Anyone uh, able to set some appointments last night? No, we weren't. We weren't told to do that. <clears throat> oh, we just yeah, we, first, we did phone training with you. Yeah, first night, first night or two for phones. You typically overall with our system, you listen. You know, you you listen, learn each type of lead, and we're going to go over that to wrap up today before three. Uh, hard card. We might get a will kit, or a, you know, um, probably we'll stick the hard cards and will kit or child safety kind of the first three we're going to knock out in terms of phones and a big tip to lasting just to just to piggyback off of that is becoming a beast on the phones is very important these first couple phone trainings that you take the initiative it's uncomfortable you know no one likes talking to, i mean some people do i guess i've had the people that come in like i love talking to setting people on the phones i'm like okay you're weird you know, it's cool and everything talking to people, but no one, um, you know, it's putting in the work, stepping outside of the comfort zone. You guys know that stuff. Um, but that's where you set up your schedule and that's where the money's made book it up the zoom and also having them show up. And, you know, those, those small, small things like sending them the zoom link. And we use, if you want to write down your manager, will go over this with you. Um, Calendly is something that we use for show ratio. It's a, it's a service that we use. It's called Calendly. You'll learn all about this in training and your, your field trainer will teach you this. Pretty much everyone uses Calendly. It's amazing. Um, it may be free for first, then it's like 14 bucks, but it's well worth the $14 a month investment to where it sets up the zoom meeting. It's integrated with zoom. So you have your zoom. And it basically, you type in the client's name, email, and phone number, and it sets up the Zoom automatically for you because it's integrated to the Zoom. It sends them a text reminder as frequently as you would like. It sends them an email reminder. They can reschedule. They can, uh, it'll fix the Zoom for you. So that's an unbelievable thing that we use that has made my life a lot easier because I we used to do it the old fashioned way, like set the zoom, copy the link, type the email up and have to do that eight to 10 times a night. No, thank you. That was one of my worst parts of the night. I, you know, it's just, it's like tedious setting up a zoom, copy and paste it and say, Hey, John, nice speaking to you on your phone. Now it's way more professional. It's way cleaner. It calendar is awesome. And the zoom links right on there. So you'll learn about that. And that helps with show ratio and it looks way more professional. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna break down the four categories. Hopefully you guys can hear me if I go up to the board, see this. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will be able to see this, but it, it won't be a whole lot. I'm just gonna type write a few things on here to where number one is this going to be hubs all right the first thing we're going to talk about are going to be huddles and it doesn't really matter if you see it or not huddles now it's going to be one to three hours per week you guys already were probably a part of a few huddles that we have. We don't like to say meet meetings. It's whether it's team huddle to where, you know, we're going over everything, game plans, contest. The, the first huddle, obviously, is the Monday morning agency huddle. You guys, hopefully, I probably were in a couple of these uh, where Mr. Veen is going to go over 
contest in the agency, you know, uh, especially this month, more, more than ever. This is the con huge contest month to where uh, we did the March Madness. You guys know about all that. Just makes it a little more competitive and fun and see who the really the top performers are and uh, leave it all out on the field, you know, and it's pretty cool. Adds fun and makes the meetings more fun when you're giving out a couple thousand bucks and um, makes things more exciting. So agency meeting, we'll go over. Mr. Vini was obviously, you guys know, um, you know, the motivation stuff. You're going to have team huddles. <clears throat> team huddles to where it could be two or three o'clock on a Monday or uh, Thursday, typically. And we do have a 745 wake up, pump up call huddle Saturday mornings just to kind of get your day kicked off. Because that's the prime time uh, Saturday morning, pretty much <laughs> eight, eight, eight to noon. Eight to noon's the prime time for Saturday morning. That's where the money is, because let's face it, you know, people people get on with their days one, two, three o'clock uh, um, that 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 morning hour. So we usually do a seven forty five to eight quick pump up call to where a little motivation. What's going on? Play calls for the week. Audibles. So that typically one to three hours per week in terms of phone huddles, agency huddles uh, and team meetings, phone huddle. We'll go over two things in phone huddles, basically. Well, several more than two things, but two things on the board. Uh, preset appointments. Presets, and you may give an ALP uh, commit to your manager for the week that you want to you wanna be coached to, say, 4000 ALP. You want to make $2,000 for the week. So Matt comes up to me and Gio, and you're like, you know, here's my commit for this week. I want to go. I want to write 4000 this week. Uh, I did my part. I got you guys gave me 150 leads. I came into that Thursday, 3.30 or 2 o'clock or 3.30, depending on your manager call session. And I had that six to eight preset appointments. That's that's made circle preset appointments for Mondays and Thursdays, because when you're out on your own, when you get released, you hit that first milestone to where you got you got your two sales. You got through your two weeks of training here. Um, preset appointments so important it seems so silly like it's called working when you're working especially when we were we were out in the field not just on zoom land uh, out in the field to where a couple door knocks maybe you have 30 people that look great like great leads but it's 2021 not ever not 150 people are going to answer so you may have 30 or top people i used to put them in an app called route for me I mean, I we're not allowed to door knock currently, but hopefully in the next few months, we may be able to. If you buy leads off the internet, I follow a lot of groups on yeah, Facebook, internet, um, like insurance type, uh, sales, closers, all types. There's lots of groups on Facebook. I'm sure you guys are a part of them, right? To where I'm in a Tesla group. I'm really thinking about buying a Tesla. So I'm looking at all the people's, you know, everything. So you groups, a lot of groups out there. Um, but this group I saw that they're talking about you know, purchasing leads. Well, we're blessed. We have a place to be reason. We don't have to buy $30 for one lead to go see other agencies, other companies. They're going to charge you $3,000 for a lead pack that we get. Mr. Vina uh, takes care of that for us to where each lead we go see Mr. Vina invests say 26 on average, about $26 into each one of those endorsed union leads from our PR team. So those, we don't have to, um, you know, foot that bill. So that's, that's the investment that you know, we make in all of us. But they were saying, the point I brought that up is that their advice to get the most bang for their buck on theirs were call them, you're gonna get X amount of sales if you buy this amount of leads off of this, it's called TPC leads, there's, there's, there's multiple, I've tried them all, but we have the best leads, trust me. You know what I mean? Endorsed by their group, their union. Um, but their advice was to, to get the most bang out of the buck doorknob. So that, that's what I used to do. I used to put 30 names. I used to go out there with sometimes zero appointments, but I would have my top 30 leads in a route and swing by and either you would meet them or some people would be like, come on in. I've been waiting for you. Where you guys been? I changed my phone number. Uh, so you, you get activity a lot as you probably can re realize just by swinging by. Same thing with same day calls, like morning calls, 11 to one. 11 to one is a prime time for catching lunch hour people. Maybe to, we call it yak, like in football. I use a lot of sports analogies, so bear with me if you guys aren't sports fans. 
I'll get you through this day two of training. Like yards after catch, that's like yards after call night appointments. So that 11 to one to where if you set six appointments, you may only need two more appointments to have a full schedule. <clears throat> we say six appointments, presets to be in the mix, eight to be great. Then that's the presets I was just talking about on a call night. So coming into a call night with those presets, whether it was just calling 11 to one, door knocking, if you would be allowed to, I mean, I think we are actually allowed to door knock the uh, wheel kits and child safe, those type of leads, but not the union leads or POS. Not that anyone wants to hit out, hit, go out there and hit the streets right away. But some of these guys like love like in-home, they like a mix of both, but I haven't gone to an in-home appointment all year. And I love Zoom appointments. I think it's amazing. We can go anywhere in the state like this. And uh, it's just been phenomenal. I and mean, obviously the, the numbers don't lie. We have record breaking after record breaking month and year and week. I think the, the, we broke their last week's record, the company, $10 million of ALP for one week, 10 million. It's huge. Just be, I think it's because of Zoom. Like we don't just break records out. And I mean, I guess we do, but it's getting better. All the indicators are great for all of us in training class. Anyone, if you want to have a team, it's definitely good timing. I'm not just saying that. Huge timing. And the proofs and the numbers, we grew by like almost 4,000 benefit reps. Any questions on anything I went over? Please stop me. I have a question. You lost me with the preset appointments. What exactly is that? Great question. I mean, that's uh, <laughs> preset. <clears throat> it's working when you're working. It's coming into a call night with an appointment. So if we're coming into this Thursday with appointments, two on Friday and two on Saturday already booked, that'd be four preset appointments. Okay. All right. So it's having them set uh, pre-booked. Gotcha. Okay. From calling from like tonight to anytime. That's what's great about okay. we can work time. But so not you're after. saying you'd be calling on like Monday, Tuesday, set them up for um, Thursday, Friday. Because we were yeah. kind of told yesterday on the phone training, um, like you don't want to give them too much time to actually let that lag be there. So if you call Monday, you want to set it for Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. But I mean, in the Zoom era, like it's more of a same day, next day, two day. You can set them, but you got to be really good on the phone to make sure they're going to be there those days because mm -hmm. life happens. You know, people have kids, baseball kids get sick or, you know, everything happens to people. So people forget about appointments like this a lot. So that's why Calendly reminds them for us. And I tell them, I prepare them for the, we're going to send you a reminder text. You don't forget about me on the zoom call. Cause we see 10 to 14 families a day. I, I always joke. I sometimes joke with them. Just don't leave me hanging here tomorrow on this call. So I'm sitting on the zoom, like a, like a, a date. <laughs> stand me up. Don't stand me up. Yeah. So then just to be clear, appointments aren't just made on call nights. They could be made at any time. If we have a no show, we could be making calls and, and presetting for two days out. Okay. Like the day before, um, like tomorrow, you should be presetting Friday and Saturday, maybe more so Friday. So it's not too far ahead. That way okay. you just fill in your gaps on Thursday. And is that why you said, um, uh, between 11 and one is like primetime lunch. You can catch more people on the phones then. That's exactly. Oh, okay. okay. So good question. See, I went over that and I thought you guys ha had a good grasp. Glad you guys stopped me. So that's exactly okay. what we do here. Cause I can go really fast. I can be done with this whole thing in about 15 minutes. You guys would be like, what the hell was all that? <laughs> Like I, I know this, like in the back of my hand, obviously from doing it 17,000 times. And I sometimes feel like pe other people know it like I do, which is, so ask me questions. That's why I'm here. Okay. All right. Number two. Now this is going to be a long section here. Now this is client services. So this is going to be. Okay. So you don't have to keep flipping the phone. It's actually better. Like, yeah. 16 by nine. Like, it's yeah, because it's way. sideways now. <laughs> it's sideways when you turn it like no. that. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that's that's better, please. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. Perfect. There we go. 
All right, that's easier too. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Now, client services. Now, there's two sections of this. Client services. So we're going to have no sale. And then sale. Okay. So because we have leads, like let's say someone requests a free will kit. Okay, this is the workbook, it's blue and the legal document's green. And we explain to them, they request a free will kit, whether it's through Facebook or um, however they you know click on it. They want to, they, they were probably thinking about their family and that's something that, if they forget ever, I'm like, oh, no problem. You were probably, you know, thinking about your family. And then they're like, oh, yeah, it probably was. You know, that's a good thing that works. You're probably thinking about your family. Yeah. Because people, seniors, they may forget, literally. Like, you know what I mean? So it might be 60 plus to where they did it last week, but they forgot. Or two weeks ago. So these um, definitely have to have a certain it's like talking to you know how you would talk to your grandma basically or a little bit more um softer so the will kit you're going to explain to them we fill out we show you how to fill out the workbook section this is going to be your rough draft and i explained to them it goes over the answers to the test so this is going to be your rough draft portion to where your name, spouse, children's names, property, it gives you the answer on the left page to insert on the right. So this is your rough draft to transfer over to the legal document. And why I was talking about this, we have to send this to them, whether it's uh, you or it, it, your manager is obviously going to help you, whoever your upline manager is, your field trainer. Uh, but I always go over this with training class. You need to help, help them help you as well. So if you're a part of this presentation, or maybe it's you're newly released, you passed your release call, you're on, you're kind of on your own, but you're obviously always working with your manager and they're helping you throughout the pro every process. But letting them know that if you do go over a presentation with somebody that they request a free will kit on a no sale. They have to make sure that, that you send, you know, the free will kit, that they're receiving the actual document so we don't get a bad PR complaint or, you know, they, they think that it's not like legit, especially if they enroll mm. and you don't send it, that's going to be really bad because they're going to be like, Matt was a great guy. He told me he was going to send me my free will kit that helped me protect, protect, take care of this for my family. And he never did. And I, and I enrolled in the program. So that, that will be like the worst case. I obviously want to make sure you're, you and your manager, you get together. We have these envelopes, get them at the office depot, pack of a hundred. I think it's like, you know, 20 bucks or something um, to where with your stamp on there, or you can just write it to where if, if it's just a free will kit and the discount card, or it could be their child safety kits, however many they, they requested. And it says that on the lead free will kit or child safety kit, <clears throat> you'll know typically it'll be one or two. And on average, we'll say one to five, typically, you know, child safety kits that are, um, will have to be sent out sale or no sale. So the reason I bring that up, just stay organized. If you know you gave, <coughs> excuse me, like five presentations, one sale. So you're going to know what sale you have. And I'm going to go over everything included with a sale. But importantly, make sure they're getting all their no cost benefits that you promised them because <laughs> never want to do anything like that. So Casey, so I understand correctly, your responsibility as the agent is mail these things directly to the client is that mm -hmm. correct? yeah yeah you don't have to for them like these are in the office but 
it's going to take, and I don't know where you guys all are located. You could be five minutes down the road. You could be in another, mm-hmm. uh, you could be in California. <laughs> so, um, where are you guys at really quick? I'm in Northern Florida. Kentucky. Northern Peggy. Kentucky. Wow. Yeah, Peggy's in Florida. I'm in Pennsylvania. Wow. Where at Pennsylvania? In Johnstown, about an hour and a half from Pittsburgh. Johnstown. Okay. I'm very familiar with Johnstown. Are you? Pennsylvania is my home state. Okay. I've been. I've been in every nook and cranny of Pennsylvania in every okay. city. Okay. <laughs> I know Pennsylvania better than anybody, or m- most people will say that. I, I'm from Pittsburgh. I, I opened an office in Erie. I opened okay. an office at State College. I okay. opened two offices in Philadelphia. Wow. And okay. I, and I, for 12 years, I door knocked every, every town and every city in this business. Oh, wow. Yep. So I'm Pennsylvania is an area, but I'm learning um, West Virginia. Um, ran West Virginia, a little bit Ohio, a um, little bit of Delaware, and obviously where we're at now. Casey, mm-hmm. do you still fly out and still do that? Do I fly out? No, I, I only fly out to see my son in North Carolina, actually. Oh, okay. I mean, be, before, I drive, before, before everything, did they actually fly you out to areas and do that? Or? I, um, it was all driving. All okay. driving. Gotcha. I, where, yeah. Wow. Okay. Which, you know, I had a lot of, where, where you're at, I'd be getting moonshine. They'd be sending me home with apple pie moonshine, and that would send sure. me home with all types of stuff. You must be watching that show Justified. I've never seen apple pie moonshine out here yet. No, I've heard I, that on the they, show. But. They, used to give it, they used to send it home with me in West Virginia. Like, they make oh. it. Okay. People, a lot of people do. Gotcha. I've had apple pie moonshine. It is dangerous. So good, though. <laughs> yeah. I've, multiple clients have offered me they're like oh you want want to try i'm like i'm driving buddy you're giving me like yeah. green apple. does it taste like apple think? cider is that the thing that's oh, crazy it, really it crazy. literally tastes like apple pie at least the ones that i've had it is i'm yeah, telling you what it can be dangerous that's right <laughs> oh, i didn't know i didn't know it was a real thing all right good to know yep so um yeah making sure they're getting anything and it, it could be just a little envelope with the child safety kit in to get that sent just just ask just coordinate with your manager making sure that this stuff gets sent you know hey if, it could be just an email hey drew josh geo i just want I, we went through all these sits i said i just want to make sure that mrs smith got her do you need any help or uh okay yeah it's done perfect you know that's just all so in, in our cases where we're not i have access to the office they're going to mail these things to us we're going to buy the envelopes we're going to prep them um, well, the stamp ones there or mail them out or they have a system and I know Drew has a system Josh they handle these things so you just coordinate with them I okay. just want you to know what's going on okay because or they may send you a box of stuff, you know and then you're handling it so at least gotcha. you know okay yeah I kind of you know or or if you ever make a trip here once in a while or you know you can plan a you know because we're right next to the airport someone could pick you up in five minutes <laughs> You could be home the same day. It'd be pretty easy to come see us, actually. And it would have been really cheap this past year. I think I took a couple of flights to Philly for like forty dollars or something crazy. Yeah, yeah, I heard about really. This. It is pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't know what they are now. I haven't looked. They're about the same. Are they? <laughs> good, yeah. Or flying? Yeah, that's good. You got to put somebody on those seats, right? Yeah. There's been a pickup in air traffic. We're obviously right next to the airport, and I've noticed more and more, more and more, more planes. Yeah. All right. So next part two over here on sales. Now, this is going to be a little more in-depth. Let me make sure I have all the sheets for you here. Oh. Here's examples. Well, on a non-sale, I forgot, you're going to also include, I like to, uh, the AD&D certificate. This can all. Oh, yeah. Digital, digitally and so i may rather do that if you don't have a printer and they really want it be like hey you know what just so you have it forever and immediately i'm just going to email it to you so you have it you know and there's no issue so this is on the impact and this actual card that they filled out the and you'll have also in the email you have the actual letter they were sent mm-hmm. i like to have everything printed out i'm just i don't know when I'm in a sit, I'll print it here. Luckily, we have a great printer at the office. And before the sit, I have it right in front of me. You might be the same way to where I don't want to have to or write it down. 
if you don't have a printer. That way you have their name, address, union, the union president's name. That's kind of what I was thinking of doing is buying a clipboard and then having all their, their file. And then say like, hey, look, at I got it here. Or they're showing to them digitally or something like that. You know, well, so I, I was thinking about printing it out have, and all that info there. I have it on, on the um, desktop. Because when you hit the impact, you can have it on your computer and you have the files right there. They just hit share and click on it and you say, hey, here it is. Rather right. than, yeah, yeah, you don't right. want to. You don't want to do this type of stuff. Okay. <laughs> this. So I have a do question about that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Oh, okay. So the question is, um, do you like have um, a way that you start the files? Because if you're going to print that off and have it in front of you, would you would just kind of start a file, wouldn't you? Do you do that or no? Do you only really. do it when you, when you have a sale? Uh, yeah, you, you'll save all your sales. You have, you'll have them all. You'll have, okay. we have spreadsheets. It's called a dashboard to where you'll have all your sales or organized. If that's, or, and you have all your sales tracked for you in a way as well. Okay. And you'll, you'll know your numbers and you obviously want to have, have all that stuff organized, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's that. It, yeah. The more, more organized you are, it definitely wouldn't hurt to have it. Okay. But you no. know, that have to type their name in and their address because several times if you ever went through the e-app and you want to get the e-app, hopefully everyone has it or you're close to getting the e-app on your computer. Because typically during training session, what's recommended by the company and really helps is that you do two dummy apps per night, like fake apps to where you go all the way through because it can be, it's a little finicky. And, it, and if you're learning the e-app, you're going to be like, this is kind of crazy. A lot of, a lot of clicking around. It's a lot. And now, you don't, you, you don't want to realize that when you're in front of the client. Can you tell us how to download it? Like, is, is there a specific website or do you just type in e-app on Google? No, you won't be able to do that. It has to be with your manager. Okay. You okay. With, okay. Yeah. Or if they, if you happen to have your agent code already and they send it to you, you can set it up with the email that they send you from the company. Okay. I was looking at it today and I couldn't find um, where you actually start an application. That was the thing I couldn't find. Oh, you have the e-app on your computer? Yeah, I just have deals right now. Okay. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Uh, well, if you're going to start an application, you want to make sure you click uh, training mode. Yeah, okay, that's what I couldn't find. That's what it was, yeah, training. All I have, though, on mine is transmit applications, update software, sales, when I open it up. Sales. Yeah, you want to uh, update or sales, yeah. Update or sales. And then you'll type in a fake name and then make sure training mode's clicked and then mm -hmm. just keep hitting next and fill everything out. I'm going to try to do that tonight. Keep, so keep hitting next, keep hitting next in the X's. That, that's a good tip for you guys to keep advancing, fill everything out, click on everything and just keep hitting next. The good, good way to try to navigate through. Is, is that going through the questions? The, uh, the, the qualifying health questions on there is kind of what you're doing to hit X and skip or next. That uh, that's part of it. There's several, there's two sets of questions, page two of the, the initial pre-qualification questions and page two of the application. Okay. So for a sale, any other questions on that stuff? Mm -hmm. So for a sale, we're going to go over the paperwork that's included. Now there's the summary sheet. Okay, summary sheet, which is just like it sounds. What do you think it is? Summary of the person. <laughs> Everything they got, yeah. Whole life, yeah. Term, accidental, uh, waiver of premium, any other benefits, who they are affiliated with, their monthly premium, monthly investment, <clears throat> the day it's coming out. And this is generated for you in a PDF file at the end. So that's something I, I print, but some people actually just write it out because there's copies available. And it's also like a carbon copy. So if you do write it out, put it in the folder this way. So when you complete the application, it creates that for you? Yes. And I print it. I don't, I, my handwriting is not the best. So the client likes it when I print it. 
better for the client, better for me. So, and then what comes next for him? Also, kind of like it sounds. Can't see it. What comes next is just, yeah, you're not really see. It's going over oh. uh, the first month's investment and the second month investment is what you want to have on here. It basically let, lets them know, hey, tomorrow your premium of, you know, 80 bucks is going to be handled or could, could take could be take up to one to five days. Because whenever we do enroll somebody, Typically, you want to make sure it's good. We're collecting that first month's investment. They're covered immediately. But if we sign someone up on Monday or Saturday, we, weekends have been our prime time. Kind of like any bartender you ever knew. Yeah. The, the best time they make the most money was like a prime time. It's it's It stinks they had to like give up a Saturday or a Friday evening, but they would make like 500 or 200 or $1,000. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like the same thing here. The prime time, maybe a, a little more in the evening or Saturday morning or honestly, our, some of our best days, you know, even after church, you know, uh, three to one to five, one to four people are relaxed and you can literally, it's like working overtime. You get twice the result on a Sunday. Even, even my guy Mason, he's just wrapping up, um, you know, you know, relatively newer. His first week after like this, his second started the second week. So just like you guys would be this Sunday. He made three sales. It's just like one after another. It's people are home. Show ratio is great. People are more relaxed. Um, what do you, what do I look like? Just willing to listen, basically, you know, bored <laughs> and you're able to help them. So that's what comes next. You just write your name, agent number. And what I like to have is their first month's investment, the exact date. And you, you guys will learn that you know, with your manager a little bit more when you sign somebody up, when the first month's investment's handled. Typically, it's, a, it's about a Wednesday because we, we turn in all the business from the whole week or the weekend on a Monday morning before 9 a.m. So it has to be uploaded before 9 a.m. on a Monday. And then you'll have a day, you'll have a day or two of corrections. Now, you don't want to have corrections. You know, it stinks, but not every, you're learning. Nobody's perfect. So you're going to have corrections, unfortunately. So that's like maybe they're on. What's a what's a prescription like uh, what's for depression? Uh, Zoloft, popular one. Do you put Zoloft on the application or any other? Let's say if they're on Adderall. It's still the depression questionnaire because the class of drug it's in, you know, that's kind of a weird thing. People don't realize that any like ADHD or um, medication like that, anxiety, like Xanax or anything like that, um, that would be a depression questionnaire. So let's say you put the medication Zoloft on there, but you forgot the questionnaire. That would be a correction to where you actually have to now call the client and answer the all the um, probably like six questions and then attach that to the application. That would be like a sales note or another sales note would be, let's say you didn't write the doctor's street name. You just put the doctor's name and phone number. You have to have the street name, city and zip code. So that would be, you have to type in there. Um, after it's uploaded, you'll be able to view the application and also put notes in there that attach to it. Because Jackie and our, our, um, our staff, they, they will, may have questions. They check all the apps and then it's sent off on that Wednesday and you'll be able to see your, uh, what your paycheck's gonna be Thursday and then we're paid on Friday. Now, do the questionnaires automatically um, yes. filter in if, the, okay, if, if it's needed, okay. Yes and no. If you click the right thing, it does. But sometimes it doesn't. And you'll know those situations. Like one of them, like some people won't say they're depressed or on depression medication, but then they come up, you didn't click it, but you put it on the app, just like I went over. So um, like mental disease, anxiety, I add, I actually add anxiety and depression into that question. Because even though it doesn't say it, just because I know, you know, this is what you have to do. Okay, so we have the summary. Now, 
What was that sheet? That was a summary. The summary sheet. What was the summary second sheet? One? Second one's what comes next. A uh, what? Well, it is not, a what not comes really next. as. <laughs> It is important, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Not every I haven't seen every single agent send these, but what is okay. a little important? Um, <clears throat> you should obviously you should is conditional receipt. Now, if we're collecting, yeah, if we're collecting money, how do they sign that? They don't. Okay. You just send it to them then, and then they sign it, or you, they don't sign it. Oh, they sign the application. It's called a Zoom signature authorization. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that's that's the receipt of the first month's premium, right? Basically, this is this is saying that they they didn't lie to you, and they're covering uh, pending underwriting that we're going to cover right. today. It's a condition. It's a receipt with a condition. You got. It. <laughs> You got it. Not, nothing. It's not rocket science, really. It's yeah. <laughs> Conditional receipt. Uh, so four things on this receipt. I'll go over them. Ready? Mm -hmm. Received of is the client's name. That's the trickiest part of this whole form. Received <laughs> of. What does that mean? Everyone asks. What's received of? <laughs> That's Joe and Mary. <laughs> Joe and Mary. And then, obviously, the date. The month, first month's investment that we are collecting money, mm -hmm. and then your name, the agent. That's it. So that just goes in. Also, that goes in their lovely blue folder. Blue folder. Are we mailing that folder out to them physically? Uh, here at the office, we do, but that's just one of the things you'll have to. Uh, yeah, your manager is going to be doing that, especially for your first. I I, sh I should ask how um how how you guys do, do that. Um, I know Drew does it for his Drew and Josh. They um they may do it for your first like week or two two week period, and then after that the like um if it costs like i think they charge you like two dollars to send it because it, on average it costs three dollars to send one of these envelopes so i think they uh kind of take takes care of um you know a portion of it for you but that, that's like your because before we had to pay for gas and we had to drive every to every single client that's like our gas money now you know so small investment business there that is the blue folder also you're going to have, I mean, I guess this could be over here, which is the fig. What's the fig? Family information guide. You got it. Family yeah. information guide. It's one of my favorites. So that's a no cost thing, obviously. Information guide, a fig. And that's what's great about the fig. I, it's it's always been one of my favorite tools. This was the free will kit before the free will kit. This is why how the free will kit came about because it has. I always explain to the clients it's all the most important information. Joe and Mary, you both will need when either one of you dies. I don't sugarcoat it. You know, I'm getting into it. You're painting a picture. You're getting on there. It's uh, wait, were you a veteran at all? Appreciate your service. Zoom handshake. Zoom pound. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the most important section, if you want to write this down, the most important section, and it may even be in your script, is um, the estate information. So this is all the most important. This is where you're building their concern. And I'm also letting them know the big problem. What's the problem with their group and why we work with them? What happens 31 days when they quit, get fired, or retire? They lose their work. They lose their benefit. Gone. So that's one of the reasons that Vernon A. Bauman, your presidente, set this up for you. Doesn't really count. You put it on the, I always say you put it on the top line and pencil, temporary coverage. Good to have when you work there. It's dirt cheap, but that's a major concern. You don't want to be retired without any coverage. And then also I get into 
at that point, a lot of members did have some sort of coverage. It's 2021. A lot of people did, but they had no idea what it was, how it worked. And we've seen some members recently, Joe, that had some policies that were terminating, disappearing. They were skyrocketing, going up in cost and just plain old disappearing. I, I sometimes would ask them, Joe, did you ever hear of like a policy getting chewed up? And if they did have some coverage, I'll explain how terrible, for example, like a flexible universal variable policy can get chewed up with the cost of insurance. Basically, you just prove to them briefly that I know what I'm talking about and that I'm, I'm here just to help you because I don't want you to come out like I used to tell them about my dad had a flexible policy. Skyrocket. They sent him a bill. If my dad didn't pay $500 a month, it was going to lapse. So obviously years he could not swing it. So he didn't have what wasn't able to keep the policy. And it was actually with Prudential, which was the one of the reasons they were in a class action lawsuit. If you ever heard about that years back, because they were kind of selling flexible, universal, temporary policies, temporary problems for a permanent, permanent problem, temporary solutions for a permanent problem. So we want to make sure they have a permanent solution for a permanent problem. Mm -hmm. All right. So. That's the fig. So that's where you're going to gauge what they have, where your presentation is going to go, creating a concern. Because if you're not creating a concern or spending what they have or figuring out, you're, you're just you're just going to be like another person trying to sell them something. You know what I mean? So you have to actually help them set this, to create the concern, almost create the problem for them because. Most clients are, there's going to be the problem there. And that's why we do the needs analysis, just painting the picture for them, showing them exactly. They probably weren't thinking about it before we went over this with them. Mm -hmm. Kind of like we had a lady earlier, she wanted to think about it, you know, or like, or go over, she want to wait till COVID, something happened with COVID. I'm like, wow, what? that's kind of like saying, like, if your house was on fire, you can't go to Ace Hardware and buy an extinguisher. <laughs> you know, it's too late at that point, you know, and she's like, I don't need it now. I have 7,000 of coverage. I'm like, I'd agree with you. If something happened to you today, you may not need it right now. But the problem is you're 62 years old and you only have 7,000, which may cover your cremation today. But in 20 years, it's not. So even if you don't need it now, and I may even agree with you, but actually I wouldn't agree. 7,000 is not enough coverage. I, I maybe I, I agree, but the fact of the matter is even if you didn't need it now, the $10 a week to upgrade it wouldn't mean anything to you at that moment that it would mean to your spouse. And that would make all the difference in the world for them. Opposed to the $10 would right now a week. Does that, that make sense to you? So you know, the main thing you don't need now, but this is something they have to kind of qualify for when their health is cooperating because their money doesn't buy them. It's their health. So I always go over the three times people think about it proactively. And you guys know that. What are the three times people think about this type of thing? At enrollment, um, the loss of a loved one or when they have a near death experience. Yep. When someone dies in the family, a loved one dies in the family, something changes with your health where you may not be able to qualify. Third time, when someone like me is just going over it with you during your enrollment period. And the first two, Joe, Mary, they're too late. Mm -hmm. So I like that proactively because if you're, if you're trying to hit them with that at the end, it's not as effective as proactively. Does that make sense to you guys? Mm -hmm. you, you kind of beat them to the punch with that one. You don't want to be re reactive with that one. How is it? Oh, wow. I'm flying today. You guys are asking good questions. I didn't even get, get through half of this yet. All right, we'll pick, we'll pick up some time here. We'll give a, we'll a quick break in about 10 or 15 minutes, but let me get through uh, this section here. Last part, last part of client services we're going to talk about is probably the most important part. which is mm -hmm. 
thank you note. We do what's called thank you Thursdays to where all that business you just sent and is on your current advance report has to have a thank you note. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're here in the office. And this is something that is huge for quality. And you guys are here for profit, right? You're not for nonprofit. <laughs> right. <laughs> you want to run a profitable business? I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> yeah, this is for profit. And this helps so much with this. Because if you just sign somebody up for some, uh, they enroll in the program and you're telling them you're seeing 10 to 14 families a day and this and that, and they just think sometimes like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, this is it. And, and, and you forgot about them. So this thank you note, so important. You notice how, are you, you guys aren't in group me yet, but you guys go ahead and write down group me, just download it, it'll help you. Group me, it's an app we use here and you'll be added into it in the next week or two. It's how we communicate a lot. And also the Chicago 2021 group, everyone, you'll notice everyone posts a picture, kind of like a Zoom picture or, it used to be a freedom of choice picture or, or the, you and the client holding their folder in the home. We call it a freedom of choice picture. And we, I uh, put it, I take a picture, whether it's just with my phone on the Zoom with me in there, you go like this, if they can see it, however you want to do it. Just make sure the client's in there smiling, giving, hey, I want to send you a picture. I want to make sure I never, I never forget your face. I want to lock you in to my, to my, on my cell phone and my contacts. That way I'll never never forget your face and any questions I'll see you pop up and I'll, I'll, I'll never forget about you. And I certainly hope you'll never forget about me. And, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I'm going to send you a picture, Joe, just really quick. Just give me a thumbs up. I'll snap a quick picture on the last part, like before I hang up with them and do my solidification and all this. And then I print it off here, just about a wallet size, about yay big. And I'll I have, I have some glue sticks here in the office. I feel like it's arts and crafts day every Thursday. <laughs> so I cut the little picture out, put it right in the thank you note. And I say, dear Joe and Mary, this is, this is what I write my thank you notes. This will help if you, if you jot it down. I'll, I'll repeat it. Dear Joe and Mary, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure meeting you this past week. And you can change a few this, but this is the outline for past 13. It was a pleasure meeting you this past week. I'm glad I was able to help in protecting you and your family. Dear Joe and Mary, it was a pleasure meeting you this past week. I'm glad I was able to help in, in protecting you and your family. I'm glad you were able to enroll into your in your benefits through and I always tie in there to your teams through 751 or through through the whatever the affiliation is. So dear Joe and Mary, it was a pleasure meeting you this past week on Zoom. I'm glad I was able to help you into enrolling into your benefits through the Teamsters or enrolling in your permanent benefits, something like that. And then the third thing is going to be something personal. Always add something personal. Like, hey, good luck with your trip to Florida next week. Have fun in Mexico. I wish I was going with you. Or um, anything. Good luck with whatever. Something they told you in the presentation. Or something personal. Hey, good luck with your new puppy in training. <laughs> whatever it is. Hey, good luck with that crazy cat that was attacking you. <laughs> Tell that dog, your dog was humping my leg. Hopefully the dog's okay. In the home, it was a little bit different. Because they, they, thanks for the moonshine I would have put on there. You know, yeah. thanks for the Bud Light you gave me that night. My last sip. People offer you beer, all types of things. I'm like, only Joe, if you're having one with me. And then it's a guaranteed sale. If you're having a beer with Joe and Mary, that's it's a guarantee every time. But not so much anymore, which that's good. And then last part, I'll say, you can go ahead, Joe, and put us up on the refrigerator because it's like we're family because my picture's in there with us. Please don't hesitate to give me a call and always put your phone number on there. 
And then if you, and I would put one business card in there as well. And you can say, Hey, if want one more thing, if you could just place my card in, into one more person's hand or, you know, please don't hesitate to give me, cause you're not going to have enough room after that with our, our thank you. So that's pretty much everything. Some personal, it was a pleasure meeting you. Uh, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Put us up in the refrigerator because it's like we're family. And then that's going to help them keep that deal hopefully forever. And it's going to pay you residuals for the rest of your life. Just because of silly little thing, just a little stu stupid little picture. And he obviously did a good job and everything else too. Solidification, everything. But that's a huge thing that some people, um, <clears throat> simple. All right, number three. So client services, that's going to be about, depending on how many thank yous, how many folders, all those things. That could be, you know, a few hours a week. Huddles, one to three hours. Client services, I would say three to five hours. Now, presentations. Number three. Prezos, how, how many presentations do you think you'll be given a week? Let's hope 10. 10 has got to be the number. 10 is going to guarantee that you're, if you're average, you're going to get three enrollments. And if at the 800 ALP per enrollment, that's going to make sure you're bringing in the 2,400 ALP. Cut that in half. It's about $1,200 a week just for average. So obviously, if you, when you're in the group meet, you, you'll see that the pictures that we just talked about that um, with the ALP tied to it. So that's, that's what's cool about group meet. It's motivating to where it might be a little bit late. You're like, oh, wow. You just made a thousand dollars, you know, nine 30, 10 o'clock at night or on a uh, Saturday morning. Most people are just, you know, rolling out of bed, nine 30, 10 AM. Marissa made, you know, $2,000, you know, so that, that's something that's pretty cool. It gets everyone else get to see kind of like the scoreboard and you get to see their enrollment, how much ALP and it's, and it's, and it's motivating. And if you're competitive a little bit, you might have that competitive edge and you want to get that out there, especially if you're in, in a contest or something. But that's going to be on average about 15 hours a week in presentations. Now, this is something to where your first few presentations may run a little long. I think mine was like over two hours, you know, especially because you're going through, you're solidifying control. Control is important because there's a polite way to kind of like get through it. And, but some people will just, which is great, you know, talk and talk. You want to listen. You have two ears, one mouth. You want to listen to the client, all, all of these things, but you also have to be aware of someone that's just talking and talking and just, you know, be able to have a little bit of control and be able to, you know, lead them, lead the way throughout the presentation. I think you guys won't have a problem with that. So about 15 hours. And now here's part four. And this is going to lead into part two of the training class today. Calling leads and referrals. Calling leads and referrals. Now, would you guys rather work two hours for a same result or 20 hours for the same result? I mean, it's a stupid question. <laughs> right. No brainer. Sure. Unless you just really want to get out there and you, maybe you have to put in the time or something. I don't know. But this is referrals are like working smarter, not as hard. Mm -hmm. And we are kind of like spoiled kids to where if we're having a hundred or 150 people given to you every two weeks or three weeks, or even every month. I used to get 70 people every month. And I thought it was the greatest thing. And they were like two years old. We're getting fresh double every two weeks. So we're in a, we're in a great situation. Everybody, the amount of people that we have, it's a good problem to have too many people coming in, but it also creates 
kind of like spoiled kids. If you grew up in a mansion, a little bit different than growing up a little bit uh, lower income. You know what I mean? You might, it might be good. It may be bad. Who, who knows? But it's like referrals. You're going to get a better result. You're going to, it's smarter, not as hard. And you're making more money off them the booked. So you should just have a goal. I always have a goal, write this down 50% of your schedule. You want to be coming from referrals just so you make more money and you work smarter, not as hard. Because if you notice any referral on your schedule, they're over. It's like, it's like any referral on your schedule is basically like putting $200 into your pocket. Because if you look at the numbers and the close ratio and now every referral collected, it's like putting 20 to $100 right in your wallet. And I always joke with it with everybody more so when we were in home to where you would never go into somebody's home and you would never leave your wallet or purse sitting right on their table because that would be silly because you'd have to call all your credit cards and you lose money. But when you don't collect referrals, it's like leaving a nice chunk of money with the client because everyone they, they, they give you, it's like, it's like a 20 to a hundred dollar bill right into your pocket for sure. And that's essentially because they can get the same sponsored benefits, even though they're not in the union, essentially. So they're, they can take advantage of that. hundred percent. And you you get a better result because, because they were, you know, somebody. Right? Yes. And if they're set up properly, they're going to do a little bit of the work for you. Say, Hey, John, he's a great guy. He helped us out with our stuff. He educated me. He made me feel not just like a number and uh, educate. I didn't even know how this stuff worked. And John who hooked me up with this and he's going to call you tomorrow. Actually tell you what, I gave him your email address. He's going to send you a link from Calendly. All you have to do tomorrow at 5 PM is just click on that. He's going to handle the rest for you. And I gave him your number. He's going to call you a few minutes before. Okay. Like you can have put people to work for you have them pop up on your schedule and have them with five or 10 other people that they're going to send you to. That's why I love child safety leads for this purpose. And I have one on my schedule today, right after this. So I'm pumped. I actually had some child safety my leads. I, I actually, I set some appointments yesterday. I'm, I'm ready to go. So what's cool about this deal that your managers, myself, we're, we're, we're not telling you to do something we're, we're still not doing or doing at a high level. So, you're able, guys are able to learn from people that are doing the same thing that we're teaching you how to do. But so referral, I have a, oh, go ahead. I have go a ahead. question about the referrals then. So yeah. I, in the script, you you talk about how not everybody can get these benefits. So what exactly are you doing with the referrals? Uh, we're calling them and getting them on our schedule. We're getting them the discount card. We're getting them. I'm, hey, I'm sure you know a lot of people with kids, right, Peggy? Right. So you're you're going to set them up with the no cost benefits? Yes. Don't and, they, have a, they don't have to be a member of the union. That's the best part about it. Oh, you're that able to, part they don't. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So you're able to hopefully you're able to save the child's life with the fingerprint kits. At least okay. make sure they're protected. Everybody likes to save money, right? That's a line you use. You just go mm -hmm. ahead, Steve, write them down, use them. Every, before I, I, every time before I get into the discount card, I, I go, Joe, you're going to love this next one. Everybody likes to save money, right? Of course, everyone agrees. So you're getting agreement. You want their heads nodding like this the entire time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that makes sense? Right. That's a tie down. So what, that, are, what are you ultimately selling them though? I guess is the question. Life insurance. Life insurance we sell. Oh, okay. So just independent from the union then? Or we are 100% union label company. We are getting them access to these benefits they would not have access to at a rate they would not have access to. Ah, gotcha. Okay. And we're unlimited money. I see. Just off of collecting and contact. So go ahead and grab your cell phone, Peggy. We're going to scroll through A through Z. So we don't forget anybody, anyone you know yeah. with kids. <clears throat> That's what we do. Right. Okay. So you have your cell phone yet? Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, that's 
Right. You, you get those referrals from the discount card section. You get the referrals from the child safety section. At the very end there at the closing, you're also going to collect some referrals too, right? So you have three opportunities. I, I, right. Use maybe. I was just under the. You went muted, Peg. You were under the impression, then you muted. I'm I, sorry. I was under the impression that um, you had the Joe Schmo down the street. Yeah. Benefits, that's but in it's the just because so. that's what it says in the script. Joe Schmo down the street can't get these benefits. You have to be part of a union or a group. That's right. what I'm asking. Questions. Right, and that's 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 typically you have to be. We are contracted with twenty thousand groups and unions to uh -huh. where sponsor them through this sponsorship. So yeah, that's the idea of it. They can't uh, get gotcha. out to lucky you here. If you want to drop here, some words, buzzwords, lucky you for a limited time. If you can even qualify. Okay. I can get, get you access to these lucky you limited time. If you qualify, that's buzzwords. You got to avoid scare words. What's a scare mm -hmm. word. So you're I saying that to the, ref to the referral, once you get them in the appointment. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. And you, you have to set the stage for referral that we're contracted with all these groups and unions that they are only able to sponsor you. And we were, unless you're a member or a policy or with us, we, we, we can't come back. So, cause you're, you're going to get rid of, I want to think about it. They're like, oh, this sounds great. I want to think about it. So the enrollment period is going to beat. I want to think about it. So that's something we have to proactively beat or else they're going to tell you they're going to think about it. So that's right. why this presentation is designed the way it is. Just like you guys, I'm going to go back to football. Are you guys football fans? Not really, but that's okay. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> there is. <laughs> I think it just worked. Uh, and, and I think from our, our members, they drilled us with this stuff. Uh, Simon, in particular, football player, and Tommy played football. So I think it's just, uh, just. Um, it's okay. But anyway, in football, it's two things. If you play defense, it's run or pass. Okay. Same thing in your presentation. It's typically, they're going to tell you two things at the end. And what are they? I need to think about it. I got to talk to my wife. Well, that's two. That's the same one. Oh, okay. I need to talk to my financial advisor. I can't afford can't, it. Well, that, that's, <laughs> that, that's more of a difficult one. You don't want to get that one. Right. And yeah. a, a financial advisor. Well, you can kind of just say, I mean, I've already saw it in there, but hey, you know, our, oh, yeah. Your union yeah. already has had your fi their financial advisor look this over. These are the benefits that they chose that's best fits you, you know, best fits your needs. So our, uh, you know, 20,000 unions, 20,000 unbiased opinions. And naturally, you talk to financial advisor. He's going to give you his suggestions. And, you know, um, they may be great, but naturally, he worked off a commission. And it may just be a little bit biased. He may, he may not have something. Per he may show you something completely different. But the first step, it's okay. He can be a great guy. I'm sure he knows his stuff. But now you have two friends. Now we're going to make sure that you have something permanently. It's always going to be there. But, you know, most of our people do not have a financial advisor. So you don't really have to worry about that. That's not few and far between. Unless they're in, this, in the trading stocks or something, they typically don't. Some people, some will, some won't. Right. Or, or they saw once, one time, never went back or. But they, they, they know it's not free. And the way I always talk about it, if you would go over this with the financial advisor, they would charge anywhere. It could be 600 or even $1,000 for the same type of analysis. Right. And the financial advising, you know, is getting this stuff taken care of. You know, Tommy, I think you went to for financial advising, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, it would, I wouldn't talk to anyone for $500. He said it. You know, he, he wouldn't talk. He was a financial advisor, Matt, right here. And he five hundred dollars. He wouldn't talk to him, <laughs> and he was cheap. <laughs> so you said those buzzwords are lucky you limited time, and what was the last one? You didn't even qualify. If, okay, I just want to make sure I have it right. Question in the house here. Starting point. Clearly, not going to be able to set fifty percent of our appointments for referrals. Start. Not the first week. Next week two, you can, or maybe even Thursday. Is that a reasonable expectation to have yourself? To be like, okay, we've been calling for a week. Maybe we had some sit downs. Now we can start maybe expecting ourselves more of these referrals. 
I would start, I wouldn't say 50. I mean, that's what it always was for long-term profitability. Once you get a referral bank, like my recommendation, put them in the impact at that point or after you can add the referrals in the impact. That way they pop up in your leads and you don't have to be like me and uh, search through like 17 sheets of paper for, you know, sometimes they can get lost, swept under the rug or, um, and that could be like $10,000 on a sheet of paper. If you look at all the money you're going to generate and referrals off referrals off of those. So you don't want to lose $10,000 out of your car window or in a folder or throw it away. I can't tell you how many times people are, have you seen this sheet of paper? I have three net numbers on there. I need put them in the impact. You never lose them. It's organized. Everything's on your schedule. Nothing better. That's what I'm saying. You're going to get referrals. If you take care of your shoot for two a day and try to do the right thing. Yeah. And obviously you got to be able to talk to folks to get that, that kind of word of mouth advertising. Here's, here's the answer. Can you yes. see that? Mm -hmm. Roll referrals. And you'll learn about this later. This is getting a little more advanced for day two, but hey, your financial advisor's in the house here. You guys are advanced. You guys are smart out here asking great mm -hmm. questions. This might be the smartest class we ever had. I'm not even saying that. Oh, Wait, you've said that before. <laughs> he has a theory six, seven certified financial planner. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Tommy had all that. <laughs> and uh and, I have a quick know. question. Okay. Yes, um, ma'am. So for the referrals, not only are they gonna come from the child safe kits, um, could they also be a beneficiary who is someone other than the spouse? Uh, so say like, for example, long. if it's okay, okay. Because I did get to sit with Jay just and did some sit last week, and he did. Who was that? One with a mom. Beneficiary Jay? was, yeah, Jay. Sorry, it's like cutting out real bad. But he did one with a mom. The beneficiary was the daughter. Then he got the daughter and the sister. So it was like this whole thing where he like got the entire family all hooked up. So I just wanted to make sure like we can also pull from the beneficiaries or anyone other than the spouse. That's why okay. And that's why this is this that's the portion you do it at, the A, D, and D. You're going to get the emergency contact contingent beneficiary and also uh, tertiary beneficiary. I just need a phone number really quick. Okay, perfect. Hey, this is Marissa. She uh, she's our one of our top producers in our in my agency. How you guys doing? Oh, yeah, how are you, Marissa? Oh. Hey, you know what? Let's pause it there. Let Let's take a break. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, so before we uh, let's start, before you go, I I didn't even catch that last question about the I understand the multiple mission beneficiaries of you know secondary tertiary things like that but what what was the point of that again uh you collect those those are the referrals you collect during the oh, a d and d those are the two best referrals and the gimme's in like the, in your back pocket you know like you have to get those that's that's like money in the bank and the Got two it. best referrals their 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 contingent beneficiary and their son or their brother their mother their cousin their uncle Got best you. friend you know, those are the best ones. So yeah, let's start up here. Two thirty. Okay. Take take a little break. Do what you got to do, and then we'll uh, went a little bit later. Uh, that way, I'll, since you guys are asking a lot of good questions and everything, okay? Sounds good. You good? I'll see you guys at two thirty here. Yes, sir. Okay. Bye.
Before we get started, can you hear and see me okay? Very good. How are you doing today? You're nice. not muted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
to their basketball and have two full sets. Yep. Now the games were terrible. The competition was bad. But he's playing college, so when we're all out, it's be really irritating when you see. Yeah, we play. It's fun. Head stop, just throwing up whatever. And then they just got heavy bags um, the last couple months I was there. So yeah, they had them there. Which I think it's a great workout. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hold on one sec. I'm going to check what my next appointment is so I don't have to make sure I know what we can run to. I'll be right back. All right, got some time. All right, ready to go. All right, so what we got for you guys, we're gonna talk about some more, more referrals. Um, we'll go over a couple numbers to start. How many calls do you guys think that it takes dials to set one appointment? Was it like one out of 10 or something more? 25. Yeah, it's actually on average 20 to 30. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about Peggy's raid. We talked about <laughs> that was Peggy's raid. That's right. She's so good. But it so it's like one well, to 30, yeah. one out of 30. Some of our best agents, you know, Marissa, you guys just met her. She's one of the best in the entire agency because I look at the numbers every every day, every always. Marissa and myself, not to toot our horns or anything, but we're some of the best in terms of We've been averaging the past like three or four weeks, four to eight dials for one appointment set. So that's, you don't see that a whole lot, but that's when you know what you're talking about on the phone. And, you know, she's really nice and um, on the phone, great phone voice. And you guys do too. And just saying the, the script, basically it works. N nothing crazy. So that's, you guys just stick to the script. There's no secret to it. Huh? <laughs> Script, um, always, yeah, give them the two times, like phone control, just being able to just uh, um, set that first time, avoid callbacks, never, I'm going to call you back or I'm at work, hey, this will take about 20 seconds, you're just one of the last members, I'm wrapping everybody up tomorrow, uh, Friday and Saturday or whatever day it is, the next two days. What time are you? So basically two times I'm wrapping everybody up. If I, all I need your email address. So that's a big thing with hard cards. You have to get their email address because notice they're not on the email is not on here. And if that's how we do the zoom is email. So that's a big thing getting the email, but on will kits and child safety kits, the emails on there. So all we do, we make sure you verify it because if you're one letter off, people make typos all the time. You're going to be sitting there and it's going to kick back. You're like, damn, I should have verified the email. Mm -hmm. We'll catch people messing up their own email. <laughs> sure will. So 20, we'll call it 25 calls to get one set. So 40 calls will get you one sit down because we're about 40 to 50% show ratio. We want to get to 60% show ratio and that's just uh phone solidification if i give this to your family unfortunately i can't see another uh union family another member so if there's is there anything that would pop up you think tomorrow that you wouldn't, wouldn't be able to make it okay great i just want to make sure they're gonna we're gonna send you a text reminder but i just don't want you to forget about me leave me hanging on this call here okay great you know do me a favor Go ahead and grab a piece of paper. I have some very important information for you. Your name, time, date, all that good stuff. And then just go ahead and lock me in your smartphone or put it on the refrigerator. So don't forget about us on the Zoom call. because That's that's good for um, you know, obviously appointment solidification. But 400 calls, 400 dials is going to translate to about 10 sits. So 400, you're... It, and our top people are making more than 400 calls in a week. So, you know, the big thing, 
when you're out on your own and you can ask yourself, am I doing my job? Here's, here's if you can ask yourself if you're doing your job. Okay, number one. 150 calls per day. So that's something, you know, you hear people say control the controllable, like that's the controllable thing. The 150 calls. And, you know, that, that that's very easy when the morning calls that 11 to one, you might knock some out and then prime time before and after appointments. Like some people you'll, you'll notice you can really get into a rhythm when you figure out the impact and you're clicking and you can rip a lot of calls especially your focus, no one's distracting you. Um, I kind of sometimes wish I had, a, I might get a separate phone, you know, like a business line. So that way we're not distracted by 9 million things when you're trying to focus because everything obviously pops up on these devices. We have distractions, emails, everything. Okay, so you talking about uh, every day or are you talking about call days? I'm talking about every day. Now these are three things I'm gonna go over. So you can ask yourself, this is like when you're released or just in general as an agent, if you're doing a good job, putting forth um, the effort, it's these three things. This comes from home office. So this is like home office recommendation type stuff. So 150 calls. thirteen thirty three ALP or three sits or prezos. So you can ask yourself, you know, obviously that's something you can control. 1333 ALP, that's something you can control somewhat, but activity, you definitely have control of the dials and the presentations, just getting that job in, because that's going to guarantee one out of three, you're going to stumble upon the ALP. But if you're busy in presentations, getting ALP and sit downs, you may not be able to get the dials in if it's a day, you know what I mean? But typically you want to at least be able to say, Hey, I knocked the ALP out today. I knocked the calls out today, or I knocked, at least I got activity. I went through three presentations. And with that, that's going to be a minimum. That got to be a minimum of 15 referrals collected. Three per. So you're going to get two contingent beneficiaries. They may know one or two kid, people with small children, or I'm sure they can find someone that likes to save money. And that discount card has been phenomenal. Now, how, you know? are you, how are you flipping a child safety kit and also a will kit into a, a life insurance sale? Just the whole needs analysis again? What do you mean? Well, you know, like I said, I mean, they're, you're, they're, you're not bringing up insurance at all in terms of them getting a free piece of insurance from their union. They don't get that, right? That's not why you're, you're talking to them. You're talking to them because of a child safety kit. We're talking to them about a will kit initially, right? For, are you talking about what type of lead are you talking about? You're first? talking about like for like a referral, like a child safety kit referral. You know what I mean? Now, or yeah. are you, are you starting off with a premise like, hey, I just spoke to you know your sister, Mary, and then, um, you know, she told me that we could get you a child safety kit. We signed her up for this insurance. And, you know, she thought you may be a good fit for it too. Are you kind of taking that approach or? I use a two-part program. We use a two-part program with the child safety kits. Okay. First part protects who? The kids. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. First part, two-part program. First part protects the parents. This is huge. You want, you want to you want to jot this down. Two with the child safety two part program. First part protects the parents. Should something happen to the kids and they go missing, and that's with the fingerprint kits, all ten fingerprints, DNA sample, updated photo. So two part program. First part protects the parents. Should something happen to the kids, they go missing. Second part protects the kids. Should something happen to mom and dad and they go missing? And that's what the family benefit options. So I, I make sure I let them know that on the phone and I build it up. I say, I tell them I'm with American Income Life. 
we work with, with you were sponsored through this program. They call it to save a child's life. Two part program. Da, 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 da. First part, you ever see the finger? You ever hear the fingerprint kits? Oh, you didn't. They have all ten fingerprints, DNA sample, updated photo in the event your kids would go missing. No parent or grandparent really likes to think about it, but every hour a child could be in like four different states. So t- time is of the essence, and you know you could go over the stats and you could even play and play the video. I mean, there's endless stats on that stuff, and I think it's four hundred fifty thousand a year. They don't even report them half the time, and you hear all these things, especially, um, you know. What What was the second part? Sorry. Oh, two part program. First part protects the parents. Should Same something happen, kids they go missing. Second, I don't, I don't understand that part. Like protects the parent just in terms of finding their child uh, quickly. Yeah, or... all that information. Otherwise, Joe, Joe, and Mary would be sitting right here at this, your kitchen table. The police would be here and you'd be gathering all this to get to them. Okay. So, that's kind of what I was just hoping I was on the same page with you. That's what I thought you meant. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly the point of it. So otherwise you can have that somewhere safe, height, weight, uh, all 10 fingerprints. They recommend hair sample from the root, no root, no DNA, any scars, birthmarks, braces. Joe, do you, do, do, do Joe and Mary, your kids have any tattoos? <laughs> Probably the fake ones. You know, that, that's a section. You got to make them laugh a little bit. You got to have your go-to jokes. People like when you make fun of yourself a little bit. Like the, I always go, you know, the A-plus rating at that portion in the introduction. I didn't get a lot of those in school. You know, I always knew that was a good score. Right, Joe? <laughs> that's, that's my go-to joke. People like to, you know, lighten it up a little bit. Right? So just so we're clear, that like, because it, has expanded and offers those union benefits to other people that's the child's kid is part of the community outreach program and that's what you're getting the rules from these leads so you get referrals and because you're sponsored in by that union member um, by giving them the referral now they're also um, being offered the entire program so you're going to go through the entire script yes they were okay oh, so that's- it may be more abbreviated you, you may hate yeah, we, I'm, I'm working with, uh, you know, Ricky Patton's SCIU union over here. And lucky you, he was able to sponsor you. You don't have to pay the same dues. Lucky you. Mm-hmm. So okay. Got you. I, ID kits for the kids. Not all the union stuff, right? What? You're going to probably leave out the hard card. We're not going to go over that. You're just going to the child okay. safety kit. The cost build benefits. It. You're building it up. Say, no, you're going to say, we work with these groups and unions. Lucky you, he was able to sponsor to receive the child safety kits, a free will kit, and then access to these permanent life programs you would not have access to. Lucky you. So they, get, they get the no cost benefit. Okay. And then they so get a no, they get the no cost out. benefit and then they would qualify for anything. Survey. You get the, you go over their needs analysis with them, the pie chart. Mm-hmm. You go over their okay. needs and see if they can even qualify. But you can't come back. I can only go over this because it's an enrollment period and you were sponsored. You have to be a member or policy orders with us. So that's why, you know, you have to get them to enroll. Okay. You're here, you're not here to save the manatees. I mean, we like helping, we like helping people, but we're here for, you're here to protect families with their programs that we offer. So, you know, child getting child safety kids, we love protecting kids, all that's great. But we're here to enroll them into life insurance to get paid residually to help them, help them for the rest of their lives. And in turn, your family and your life is taken care of for the rest of your life in residual income. That's my favorite part to be able to have your bills paid before you wake up. That's the best part about doing what we do. We, I love helping people. That's first and foremost. And the more people we help, the more your family's helped. True story. So the second part of the child safety kit <laughs> was the. Protect parents and kids go missing. And then what First, was the other part? Part protects the parents should the kids go missing. And that's what the ID kits to help find your the missing yep. children. Second part. Yep. Protects the poor little children. God forbid mom and dad don't come home in like a car accident. Like never ever again. They go missing forever. And that's with the paycheck protection, the funeral, their college education is taken care of. Their incomes come in the home for five years. If they don't enroll into that program, 
wouldn't you guys agree those kids' lives would be completely different forever? It covers all of that? They can. That's wow. what we do. Well, see, we haven't been given all that info yet. We All we have is okay, a yeah, choice, A, B, or C. That's, that's amazing. All. That's all we've been told so far. At least I what have. A, what a brilliant way to uh, get referrals. <laughs> and so whoever thought about this, yeah. that's why we're here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all works together. That's what's amazing about our system. Nothing better or else you will probably would be, I'd be trying to find a be something better. There's, our system's amazing. And the leads, and we, we have the child safety leads or child safety referrals, and they just build your referral bank. So you can call for two to five hours versus the 25 hours, you know, because you can make some people you literally make 600 or 900 phone calls in a week, and they may be beat by someone that made 40 phone calls. Referrals. All right, we, we got this two part program. Okay. So referrals. You're getting 66% closing ratio. So you're getting twice the result. A lead, a union, we'll call it a response card. Thirty-three percent. What's great if you're a manager or your manager may train you on POS. Anyone know what that means? Sir. Yep. Policy owner service. What do you think the closing ratio is on policy owner service? They already have our coverage. You got it. Good job. Matt knows his numbers. He's a numbers guy. He said 50. 50. They're coming out with a new lead. They just told us about like two yesterday. We have Globe Organic Leads. You may notice these. We also have, they're coming out with called, what the hell is it called? Just drew a blank. Oh, Head Start. You know what Head Starts are? You ever hear of the Gerber Grow Up Plan? You see them on TV, Gerber Grow Up Plan, Gerber Life Insurance. We beat them by over 50%, which is great. And out with our Head Starts. They, the kids have it forever. So it's programs for kids that they have forever, bills them a guarantee, cash, savings plan, you know. Is that like a limited pay policy? No, it's a whole life policy. Okay. Guaranteed right. whole life. But is, it, but is it like a limited pay, 20 pay for the life? No, they have, they have options where they can. Okay. Yeah, it's a regular whole life policy. So, what I mean, did you say? Yeah, like the the whole life, but it's where we got interest, so. I'm sorry. I heard a bunch of things there. Sorry. Sorry. I want to know. You said PS for policy Pol own. Policy owner service. They already yeah. they're moving by. So when I existing when, client. Yes. When I started here a while a long time ago, I was like, wow, why would I want to go see people that already have our program? I'm like, I want to see these people that don't have it. Was I wrong? No. I mean, that's, that's the thing, though. Is it, is it lower, like, commissions or stuff like that for POS? or No. Same, no. Same opportunity, huh? Absolutely. Don't be, don't be, looking, for the, don't be looking for the downside. There's all, it's all, it's well, all good. Well, I mean, somebody good. got them in. So, I mean, you're not taking away from somebody else's residual or something, are you? Right. No, everything's, built, everything's figured out, John. So, they okay. have – let's say you, you get someone converts your term. You get right. your – was locked in at five percent okay so figured out to where yeah nothing no one's going to replace your coverage because they have what's called intercompany replacement you can't do okay you're protected here so this is not stuff from the same agency this is stuff that some type of other existing ail life coverage from somewhere else yeah it, it's other okay. people sabrina lloyd bob olson i know all the people 
Okay. I know yeah. everyone is. He was just kind of cool because when you go to conventions, you meet everybody. You're you're at you're at the pool with Coach Giggs, who's a millionaire, asking him questions. He about his new Ferrari he just bought, or you know, he gets two hundred thousand a month. He's been in the company thirty plus years, and I mean that's that's like a top SJ position. But what what's so cool? You, and he's probably with some of the coolest people you would ever meet. You know, he's no one's like stuck up. They're not going to help a new agent or something. Someone with the company. And if you get, you're lucky enough, or maybe if they even still have them, I don't even know with COVID, probably they will eventually. Leadership development seminars in Texas. I've gone to three of them. Pretty cool where you just get to hear from the top people in the company. Different, you different subjects. To the point of sale, are these people normally converting? Or are they just underinsured? Are their needs have changed? Everything, kind of everything, doing? all of those things. Okay. All those things. He, his question was, with the POS, what are you doing? Um, it's everything they may only have recently. Like if they got it two or three years ago, they may only be able to afford five or 10,000, or maybe they got their foot in the door, or maybe eight years ago, the term was good for them. They can only afford that amount, but now we got to convert it to permanent before it either goes up or uh, changes on, them. you know, it's based on their age. The great thing about our term coverage is that if you sell the package, obviously a lot of people like permanent, we educate the people. I let them pick, you know, you can, you could, you can go either way. You can make a case for either way, but obviously most people realize hundred percent guarantees better than one to 3% of your family receiving that. But our term is completely different. Ours has the R and C built in, which stands for renewable and convertible, which allows them with no medical questions to convert everything to permanent. No proof of insurability. Yes. So that's a built-in right. Yes. If you see R and C on there, that's what that means. Renewable. But it still and has uh, the whole doubling of the renewal, right? Is that still in there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it, it'll be at a 5% lock okay. in. Okay. Or, or depending on also the program you enroll, you convert it to. Obviously, there's different rates for um, whole life preferred executive select and your contract level. So we're not just selling a whole life policy. There's multiple different things that they could yeah. want. We're going to do a rate book. Make sure you ask your manager to send you a rate book. Okay. Because it has every the definitions of everything we have right in the beginning. So you read that, that'll help you guys out tremendously. Okay. And the definition of everything. That's a huge help. Read the read the first five pages of a rate book. So we're and basically pushing the whole life though. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But if that does not appropriate, I mean, I like, like some people may, Hey, I, I only want term buddy. I don't care about, it. okay. Uh, we, we can switch shift gears. They may, they may only want to pay, you know, 30, 40 bucks a month rather than having to guarantee get having that money in the bank, that bank account on steroids. Right. So, you know, definitely two, two sides of the coin, but if they can only swing, you know, you, every situation is different, but most people, once you educate them, they realize that mm -hmm. guarantee is going to be there for them. All right. POS 50, the, the head start, uh, the, the, the new leads that are coming out. I don't know if you'll see them in the next few months or maybe even a couple of weeks. Those they're saying unbelievable results from the test run they ran. 50% on a leave, which I guess people were requesting these programs over 50% on a response card, which is going to be huge. So I love hearing about new types of things that are making our lives easier and better. So that's awesome. All right. What else do we have here? Zoom tips. We didn't really get into it, but you guys look like your zoom pros, like backgrounds look good. I would avoid like having your closet open or something, you know, you can see all your oh. clothes. Well, no, well, I can't see it. It looks like it's closed. Like, no. you know, your, your underwear sitting out or I had a lady. Uh, she's great. I love her and everything, but her husband was behind there. We're, we're like doing training like this. He gets up, he's half naked. I'm like, whoa, hey, like he's in his underwear. I'm like, we're trying to run training class. I'm like try to avoid like stuff like that. <laughs> close your spout, Cl close your people at home. Uh, or, you know, clean background. You can also put the virtual background. We have American income. I know Drew has it handy where you can put the AIL in the back and all this good stuff. <clears throat> but ultimately, you guys got to know, uh, know your numbers. 
keep track of your numbers too. Um, and it's like a baseball card, you know, your closing ratio, your show ratio, a hall of fame baseball player gets in the hall of fame for doing what we do 33%. And the same thing here, you're going to strike out twice and get one on, on bat at bat one hit. In case that's accessible through the impacts. Numbers. Yeah. Yep. Numbers every night. Um, it's tracked every night on impact. Yeah. You can do it on your phone, on your computer, anywhere. I usually like to have my teams up by 10 o'clock or 10 30 to where it's something you got to do every night. It takes about three seconds. You click enter today's production and then you click the green button. It's like a pencil. And then you scroll down and you can enter how many referrals you collected that day, how many presentations you had, uh, what type of, if they were child safe, if they were union, uh, how many sit presentations, referrals, that's basically it. ALP for the day, all that stuff. But you can actually track your numbers. 33% <clears throat> average close. Like our top producers every week, they're 60, 70, 80% closers. So you're going to, it's like you're, they're going to get most of the enrollments, um, especially when you add the referrals in there. Oh, I forgot that part today. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a couple things about referrals. All right, so you guys know. But all it takes, it's just one person. It could be a union lead. It could be, this could be someone you know. This could be your neighbor or a good friend of yours that maybe they run a daycare or your buddy runs a plumbing company. He runs his own business. Anybody knows their own business. They know people that have employees that they may not have the best benefits. So we can actually save them money with a discount card or someone that you know that you're like, hey, I just started a new career. I don't know if, you, if someone told you. I need to just get a uh, practice on Zoom, just to kind of get through everything. So you could actually go through your presentation with someone you know, or this could be a client. And they're like, wow, John, or wow, Peg, you know, this is amazing. I did not even know that. You enlightened me. You educated me. I'm going to send you to five more people. And you're like, wow, that's amazing. I, I saved them $500 with a free will kit. I made sure they knew what type of permanent coverage their family needed. But now guess what? They're sending you to five more. And they're sending you to five more. And then before you know it, that's like that referral bank that I was telling you about that before you know it, you'll have a stockpile of people that are requesting your programs that requested the child safety kits, a will kit, or even if insurance at the end was like, who else do you know, Joe? John, that we can uh, get some insurance to. Who else do you know that, that why, would have programs? Is that why those hard cards aren't getting it, getting, getting hit as much because people do run referrals? Is that kind of why the uh, no they cards keep, aren't? And they're always going to just hang there or just have a, such a low a lower rate. Well, they're always going to keep coming in, you know, but yeah, people. But I mean, it sounds like some of these like those hard cards, those three by five yellow cards. Some of these haven't been touched months and months, right? Absolutely. And, um, it, you know, it's a place that we, we give you a place to be, reason to be there. We teach you exactly what to say. But, you know, when you, when you sprinkle the referrals in, it's just going to – it's going to give you more at-bats. It's going to allow you to get to that 10 to 15 presentations a week. I have a question. So – I've obviously been sharing my new career with family and friends, but I'm here in Pennsylvania and some of them are like, Oh my God, I want to sit down with you. Let's talk about it. I don't have anything in place. Now, are we only doing this on a basis of Illinois residents or could I set up a friend with these same benefits? Cause technically like I'm sponsoring them in, correct? Yes. Well, you have to be licensed. Are you licensed? You, did you, you get licensed in Pennsylvania first? Yes, that's what Josh told me to do. So I'm licensed in Pennsylvania, but Jayvon has been telling me that I need to get Illinois 
but I haven't yeah. been told that by Josh yet. So I, I do got to talk. We will need that. So yeah, otherwise you're going to be just uh, helping your friends and family for, to start because okay. um, tech, you know, to, to be able to run our leads, you know, legally and everything mm -hmm. have um, that license. It's, it'll be a non-res license. Unfortunately, Illinois is one of the more expensive States in terms of licensing us in Hawaii and a couple of other ones are up there. And I probably want to do that like today because it almost took two and a, almost three weeks just for Pennsylvania to get approved. I don't know how long. No, non-res may be a little bit different, especially because you're already licensed in a resident state. Uh, it may, it, all you got to do is go to the NIPR and add the non-res nipper. Down, everyone download the nipper app. That helps you out a lot. That way NIP. NIPR nipper. I had it actually the same day. When I applied for it and paid wow. it, I had it by the end of Did you guys, John and Peggy, did you guys already get your non-resident yeah. for Illinois? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I, I was told that. It takes like a day. I was told that in Kentucky, since I live in Kentucky, I cannot do that unless um, they're sponsored in because there's other agencies out here in Kentucky representing AIL, and that would be like kind of crossing competitive lines is what I was told by Gio. Okay, then I'll talk to Josh tonight about this because I only got Pennsylvania. That sound correct to you, Casey? I don't know what you're talking. Um, well, if we hired you, we already got to hire you. So there's nothing about competitive lines. Okay. I was just kind of told like, hey, you know, you can't touch anybody in Kentucky unless oh, they are right. sponsored in by somebody in Illinois. The lead's right. You can sign up anybody you want in your home state, but oh. yeah, companies leads unless John, unless you did such a bang up job and we're like, John's killing it in the game. We need to open up him as his own office and we need to take piece of that territory. That's how we get those leads, you know, do a good job. And we're able to say, Hey, we have a guy he's writing uh, out of, you know, we, we need uh, a chunk of that, those leads for him. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And so it's really, if we're getting the production, you know, numbers talk, you know, you can get whatever you want. If we're doing a good job, we can have any territory and that's, <clears throat> but here's the thing. If you collect 30 referrals in a week, here's a question for you. How many will you, be able to set 15 good guess good guess it's actually it's 33 percent, so it'll be 10 so okay. you set 10 off of 30 collected so that's why that number this has to be a minimum for you to be able to fill in those gaps and get two on your schedule or a goal of 50% of your appointments being referrals because you're the first week you get leads, you're going to set the most appointments. Like last night, Marissa set 10 appointments last night off our leads in one in an hour or two. Pat Sullivan. I know everybody's numbers set 14 appointments. Top people. Um, Tommy Whalen set 22 appointments last night. I set six in uh, six calls. Well, I mean, one other, I was four dials. Marissa was six dials to an appointment set. Um, I didn't, I don't remember the other ones, but yeah, those are like the top people, a couple of the people. Um, but you want to make sure and you rolling referrals is an easy thing to do. We use the homework assignment for rolling referrals. I, I'll say Joe and Mary, when's the last time you guys had homework? Long time, I remember, uh, me too, it's been years. Um, I'm gonna give you some homework today, but it's pretty easy homework because the worst part about my job is that if I have to call your five sponsors here, your sister, your brother, your mother, your cousin, your aunt, Aunt Betty, the worst part about if I give them a call and they, they think I'm a telemarketer or they hang up on me or they have no idea what it's about. So your homework today, you're gonna write down, you know, their name, their number and when it was due, when the due date for the next call session, basically. And it's pretty easy homework because you just want to, it's just to give them the heads up, let them know 
that you were able to get in that child ID kit, a free will kit, and then access to these um, family benefit options that they will not otherwise be able to have access to. I'll tell you what, they're more likely to answer your number. So I'll tell you what, on this list of your five people, who's the most important to you? Oh, John is. So I want you to give John a call. Tell him, you're, and you got to coach him up once again. Don't just tell him the insurance guys here because what are they going to say? No, I'm good. I got insurance. Well, it's going to be gone. You know, they have no idea how it works, if it's term, flexible. Some people think their group coverage is good. We all know what happens. If they leave their job, it's gone unless they get some type of uh, continuation right. on it, correct? So people, people, right. people are naturally going to not want to worry about other people's business, but we, we create that concern and making sure that if you could save your sister, your cousin, your aunt, 50000 or $100,000, they think it's going to be there for their nest egg, for their beneficiary. And if we educate them just to make sure that we're, they're going to be thankful that we showed them something that's going to be permanently there. Or I can't tell you how many families that thought they had one thing, but had something else, had a term flexible. Once you educate them, it's just black and white. We're just going over how, what they have and then <clears throat> helping them. That's it. So, <clears throat> any anything else on referrals? That's pretty much it. Last thing, we'll, we'll just end with the hard cards. We'll just go through everyone to get a turn. And since we ran over, we'll just stick to hard cards today. So we'll need any other questions before we shift gears and wrap us up for today too. Sounds like your key. Uh point here with everything else is get those referrals, get the bank. That's going to be your, your key way to set appointments, right? A really good, high, a really good closing ratio to get people to sit with you and get those appointments. Yeah. Advantage. It's uncomfortable for people. That's why people don't do it. We, we get fed here. It's like, you're, it's like, here, here's your dinner. Here's your leads. There's no, this is like, this is it for referrals. Like, I mean, we talk about it a lot, but I feel like kids, they're just spoiled. They're not getting the full advantage of the money and the opportunity. It's this is opportunity unlimited and people that aren't collecting referrals. And there's a lot of them. They're not getting as much money as they should. Right. And it's, and they're just not getting that much. This is the answer referrals and the leaves. We have both. So use both, but they don't focus on referrals because it's not a necessity because we have tons of leads coming in. But you want kind of nonsensical though, because it's a different type of lead, right? So it's a more yes. highly qualified lead. It's more higher qualified, right. especially off a of sale. If you roll a referral off a of sale, call it a we used to call it a leapfrog, 90%. Wow. 90%. So if you're getting an enrollment and you're like, my brother, my mother, my cousin was just we were just talking about this, they need it. And you say, I'll tell you what, my my 8 p.m. My 9 p.m. just rescheduled till tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I could squeeze you in tonight. I don't, this never happens because I have a complete book schedule. What do you think they're going to do? They might take the appointment and you're going to, you're going to enroll them. It's just that simple. People overcomplicate this shit, this stuff so much. It really is simple referrals, the dials, keep it simple. And that's really it. Super simple. You know, K I S S. Keep it super simple. Keep it stupid simple. Keep it Keep simple it stupid. stupid. There you go. I had to get them all for you. It's a quicker way to uh, make business too. Easier. Yep. And in and, and a lot of books I read, sales books and things, they say it's a true sales professionals. You don't have to depend on your leads. We have them. But some people here solely depend on the leads. And, you know, with like numbers and people, you could have a group of the best people and, or you, you roll the dice and the next week, next month, you may not have the best role. It's numbers. So you may have 10 people that are enroll. You may have 10 people that were um, grouches. You might meet three of the nicest people in the world. You might meet three of the biggest jerks. You're like, wow, that guy was a freaking jerk. <laughs> I've had him you meet nice people. So 
that, that's it. We'll just uh, wrap up. Everyone have their hard card script. Yep. Hard card script. Which one? The, Onions. Hard card. For the script. phone. Phone script. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Uh, what is it? Phones. Hard card phone script. This one. Yep. Awesome. So we'll start off. Let's have. Who wants to start us off? I'll go. Okay. Let's have you call John and then we'll have John. And let's do okay. like first and then finish up with Matt. Okay. John? Yes. Hello. Hi, John. This is Rogano with American Income. We handle your benefits through Teamsters, and they sent you a letter about this, and you sent in a yellow reply card. I just need to verify the information that you wrote down. Wait, where did I send in some type of card? Yes, the yellow. Um, it's the yellow Hardball. reply card. I, I sent in a, a yellow card, you said? It's cutting out. Um, I, Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? It's, it's telling me my insurance. I hear you. Okay. Hear you. Okay, you, you said you, you handle the benefits for the Teamsters for my union? John. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm just going to start over. It just it came back. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. All right, from the top. John? Uh, yes, hello. Hi, John. This is Rogo with American Income. We handle your benefits through Teamsters. They sent you a letter about this and you sent in a yellow reply card. I just need to verify the information that you wrote down. I don't remember a card or a letter. What do you mean? Well, that's exactly why I'm calling. There are so many members who sent back the card. It has taken us quite a while to get back to them all. However, I will bring you a copy of the card, which will help refresh your memory. Okay. Now, I just need to verify the information that you wrote down. Now, right. John, you wrote down your address as 123 Main Street, Chicago, Illinois, 06116. Is that correct? That's still good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you also wrote down your date of birth as January 15th, 1980. Is that correct? Still good. All right. Now, for the beneficiary of the life insurance policy set up through Teamsters, you wrote down Kelly Price. Is that still correct? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, that's still good. I'll still have my wife as my beneficiary. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, great. Now, John, it looks like you're one of the last few members who haven't received their benefits packages yet. And it's just my job to get you caught up with all the other members. Now, Teamsters has set up a life insurance policy and a health service discount card, which will save you money on your out-of-pocket medical expenses. Now I'll show you how to activate and start using your card, as well as explain what's been set up for you. Does that make sense? Uh, sure. So I remember the benefits that what's that discount card you said? Well, the discount card is it's a, um, you can save anywhere between 10 and 85% off of your medical expenses out of pocket, but we okay. can go over that during your enrollment period. Okay. I got you. Okay. Okay. Now it's just my job to deliver and explain the benefits that have been set up for you through the Teamsters. And Unfortunately, right now we are unable to deliver these benefits in person given the current situation, and I'm sure you understand. So what they have us doing now is meeting with members and delivering your benefits virtually. Now, are you familiar with Zoom meetings? Uh, yes, my mom's a teacher. She uses those for oh, virtual. Okay, great. Now, I was just going to say all doctors, colleges, they're all using it. And all of our members are really excited about us delivering benefits through a virtual meeting and are saying how fast and easy this is. Now, quick question, John, you have a laptop, phone, or tablet with a camera, right? Uh, yeah, I have a laptop. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That'll work. Now, I do have a pretty booked up schedule, and I'm taking care, all of, taking care of all of the members in your group over the next few days. Now, you're, again, you're one of the last members that I need to get caught up. So which day would work best to get you caught up? Would, would that be Tuesday or Wednesday? Uh, well, I work those days, actually. I, I'm not off till the weekend. Okay, would Thursday or Friday work better? Or you said the weekend, Friday or Saturday? No, I'm not off to the weekend, right. Okay, which which day would work best for you, Friday or Saturday? Uh, well, Saturday I have off, Friday I still work. Okay, great. Now, what time do typically you and your spouse get home from work? Does she work on Saturday? Uh, yeah, she has the weekends off too as well. So we're both off on Saturday. 
Okay, great. Now, just checking my schedule here. It looks like Saturday I have available from 2 to 3 p.m. and uh, 5 to 6 p.m. Now, which one of those times would work best for you and your spouse? Probably 2 to 3. Now, how, how, how long is this presentation going to take or how long is this, this meeting going to take? Well, it all depends on how many oh, questions you have. So I do run a very booked up schedule. So for me, the shorter, the better. Okay, I understand. Okay. All right, awesome. Now do me a favor, grab a pen and paper. I have some very important information for you to write down. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. All right, great. Now write down my name. It's Rogata. I R -A need, let me just spell that. Go ahead. Okay, R A G H I D A. Okay. And then the date is Saturday, March 20th mm -hmm. at three o'clock. I'll be meeting with you and your spouse. Okay. Okay, I'll also need you to write down the confirmation code, which I'll also refer to as the quality control passcode. I will need this at the beginning of our meeting on Saturday, okay? What do you need and that for? It's just to confirm that you are who you are and you're the same person that I've talked to while setting this oh, up. Oh, okay, that makes okay? sense. Just for like security. It. Okay, Not so the balls. quality control passcode is R, P as R. in Paul, uh -huh. H, one Q is in queen two nine R P H one Q two nine. Okay. Okay. Now, John, do you see any reason why three o'clock on Saturday the twentieth wouldn't work for both of you? Uh, no, that should be fine. Okay, great. I, I just need to make sure that three o'clock on Saturday the twentieth will work because that's a time that I wouldn't be able to sit down and see another member. Now, uh, John, okay. can I have your email address, please? Oh, okay. What do you need my email for? Well, the way that it works is I'll be sending you an email with the Zoom link for our meeting. So when it's time, all you have to do is click on the link in the email. Oh, it's that easy, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yes, it's uh, jellis at outlook.com. Jellis. J-E-L-L-I-S. That's correct. At outlook.com. Okay, great. Now, I'll also send you a courtesy text 15 minutes prior to our meeting as a reminder, Okay. Okay. All right, John, awesome. I look forward to meeting with you and your wife on Saturday the 20th at 3 o'clock p.m. Okay, sounds good. All right, take care. Thank you. Great job, first time. And some rebuttals, I like that. I didn't even tell you to, uh, usually. Well, uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to be mean. We just, we've been doing Oh, no, that. you're fine. No, I appreciate that. I thought that was kind of what you wanted in there. So. Yep, good you job. Got a you have a different script than we do, though. So a different team, I guess. So. so yeah, different. It's all it's all pretty much the same as you notice. Okay. It's the basic fundamental. I didn't think you were going to do it. That's why I wrote on the board. Two times you did it. They'll give them find their schedule two times. You know, are you and Mary both working daylight? You guys, okay, what time are you home together is the and the question you need to really ask. Um, okay. fill that around depending on the situation. And you you know on the card. Uh, so are you guys both working daylight daylight shift? Perfect. What time are you home together? Okay. Okay, when's your day off? Oh, Saturday. Okay. Friday, Saturday. Perfect. Well, we're, we run a completely booked schedule and then go into the, you know, the two times, any, any re rebuttal agree. I understand. I understand. Feel felt found a great way. If you ever learned that before it's in the playbook, feel felt found. I understand how you feel. Oh, everyone's felt that way. Once they found this. Yeah. Gotcha. Download the playbook. Uh, if your manager didn't get it to you yet. And also, um, your manager has, we have the key for success archives and we have what's called Arius University, which came from our mentor. We started with Simon Arius, who um, basically was Tommy and I's uh, boss for the past, um, you know, up until this past year. <laughs> our, huh? No, he's, he's, a, we, we, we got our own deal. This is, oh. this is being that Tommy Vien is the owner now. The owner. Yeah. Mr. Vien is now the owner. What's well, great. I, you know, Learn from the best, and there now we're competing with the best. You know what I mean. So now it's our turn to uh, get everyone coached up, and to you know, hopefully you have a goal to be, have a team of five, ten, fifteen, twenty people that are helping you, um, helping you and your team, and getting you to the next level and helping more people. Ultimately, good stuff. So uh, big thing on phones, you know, smiling, Daryl. People can hear it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe smile a little more, um, especially in the beginning. Um, I'm bit write this on all your phone scripts. I am busy. I am important. I'm in control. 
just small things like that. Um, have your rebuttal sheet handy. Hopefully you have one of those hand there because you're going to get a rebuttal. And most of the time that sheet works pretty well. So have that handy. I want to mail it. I want to think, um, why does my wife have to be there? How long is this going to take? What's this all about? Are you going to try to sell me insurance? Like those are some of the rebuttals that you, you'll, you'll get. Um, they ask you, are you going to try to sell me insurance? What's the answer? Well, you, what do you want to say? You want to say, hey, you already get, you're getting this free insurance from your union already. And then we also offer permanent benefits as well. <laughs> Tricky question, right? You can't say no, like some new right. agents. They're like, no. I'm like, well, what are you talking about? We're, we're, that's what we want. Yeah. Well, I wanted to buy something. Okay, well, no. Anytime someone asks, asks you, are you going to try to sell me? Are you going to get me insurance or what is, I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly what my job is. My job is to go over your four no cost benefits. They're already set out for you. There are additional programs that you would have to qualify for. I'm not sure that you can. My job is to deliver and explain those benefits to you quite, you know, that's your job, everything you're entitled to and eligible for. And that's your, your right to learn about what your group has set up for you. Gotcha. So anytime I ask you, just think of uh, what's my job is to go over your four benefits that are already set up for you and to see if you can even qualify. I'm not even sure you can. And most of the people I've found that are like jerks or they, they have a bad idea about insurance. Guess what? They can't even get it. It's craziest, the craziest thing. They want to be a jerk to you because they, they feel like you're being a jerk to them. Just insurance in general. Because they have a pre condition it's crazy how much that works i'll be like now that's why you were being such a jerk to me this whole time you can't even get this right crazy how much i'm like why are you being such like why are you being rude like about this this is you you know but some people are maybe they're having a bad day or you never know people's situations you can just try to help them. now when you fill out the application it's uh, going to tell you whether or not they can qualify no, no. Like what, what makes someone not be able to qualify? Maybe they, know. maybe they had cancer last year or maybe they had a heart attack or maybe they had a heart stint or, um, certain drugs, on, certain prescriptions, every medication out there. No, I mean, I get, I get that from like taking the insurance exam and stuff. I get that, but the script doesn't cover that at all. It just says, Hey, it looks like you're good to qualify. You, you know, you're going to qualify. It just oh, you'll, generalize. You'll, Oh, you'll know what's uh, on the application, the field mm -hmm. underwriting. And there's yeah, a field, filling it out. field underwriting manual. That's on the help tab. Open up your e-app and click the help tab and click underwriting manual. Everything's right in there. Okay. So, and I'll, so I'll be, I, I will be the field underwriter doing that. Yes. You are. So it like, like lists the declinable drugs and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, there's a flash mm -hmm. sheet right on there. So click the help tab, open up your e-app and click the help tab. And uh, dig around in there for all the auto declines is something very important to know. Oh, that'd be great to rip it off. Like you're mm -hmm. on oxygen. Can't help you. Yeah. Besides what we're breathing daily. If you have <laughs> pain, oh, you can't get it, unfortunately. And I always used to pull up to the homes and that, you know, they needed it. What do you see on their front door? You no see smoking? that? You see the sign, no smoking. You're like, well, at least yeah. someone not qualifying here so referrals they sometimes they, they know the value you might have the best sit down that they, they can't even get the program but they liked you so much and they see the need and they know they can't get it and they know the need there are on the flip side some people are upset they can't get it other people they want to help other people and they want to send you to five people those referrals will be gold pos referrals are gold if they're paying us anyone they send you to are going to be really good. Gotcha. Wow. We, I usually end at three. You guys got bonus coverage today. I'm glad you guys had good questions. This could be a good class. You're Any a other trainer. <laughs> oh. good. Well, let me know if you need anything. I'm going to, I'll see you guys in the group. Me, maybe I'll do some of your release calls after you're done with your training. See how everything went for you. I just, you know, quiz you 
um, all that type of stuff. Okay. Hey, okay. you guys got someone at one o'clock in the same link. So save this link. Same link. Same link. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Yes, so um, I got that at least. So. <laughs> I'm old enough to get that joke, so. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah. No, I'm, I know I, that joke. <laughs> Believe everybody. me, I know. I'm older than all of you. I know, Peggy. Yeah, I just said no if you do it. <laughs> You're just trying to be nice to me. <laughs> hey, I suppose. Like That's 20. all right. I don't mind. Pardon me? How old are you, about 27? No. You're asking a girl how old she is? <laughs> I'll tell you if you really want to know. No, no. Okay. <laughs> it's a mind state, a mind state, right? It is. It's all up yep. here. <laughs> yeah. You know, in this business, I was talking to him earlier, Matt, he, you know, mind, body, spirit is so important. Like getting your uh, yourself taken care of to help other people is very important for me. Right. Yep. So All right. Good luck. Question, uh, where do I go after this? <laughs> call your uh, call your manager. Call my I manager. just got a text from Gio. So we're going to. Good. Perfect. Uh, OK, hey, guys. Great night. Thank right. you. Sure. Have a good one. I'll see Bye. you guys soon. Good luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See you.